I'm your host Lukendra Kumar and today we will be discussing second important sugar. In the first video I have discussed the sucrose. Here I will be discussing lactose but I still have written the topic which is sucrose and lactose. Why? Because these two sugars they are one of the most important sugar molecules and when when it comes to the exam many of the questions they are very very related for example question can be put forwarded by what are the uh, monomeric units for sucrose and what are the monomeric units for lactose something like that or the differences between their structures so if you haven't seen the first video i would recommend you to watch that particular video on sucrose and uh, then come back here and see the uh, the video on lactose. So we all know that these are the two important sugar molecules for our living mm, entities, especially when it comes to plants, animals, uh, or any any other living organisms, because we are using glucose, and here you have the glucose at the uh, the monomeric unit. So we are consuming lactose when we are kids. Uh, when when we grow older, the capability to utilize lactose deteriorates and slowly slowly we become lactose intolerant and there are other conditions also so this sugar is very very important this is the most uh, fundamental i would say video on the lactose where we really understand the structure of this this particular sugar and what is the glycosidic linkage how these two units they are they are bound together and forming a dimeric molecule we'll also discuss that so without any delay, let's start the video. All right, so let me write down the topic, which is sugars. And in this video, I will only discuss the lactose, but I do want to write the sucrose and the lactose because these, these two topics, they are important. And if you haven't seen the video, then please watch the video on sucrose. Now, they are also known as simple sugars because they have just two monomeric units bound together and this is the disaccharide molecule because you have two sugars in this case in especially in case of lactose you have glucose and galactose in case of sucrose you have i hope that you remember you have glucose and the fructose molecule so we'll we'll design the structure of these two sugars glucose and galactose and you'll see if you have seen my video where i have already designed the glucose molecule so you can see this is the ring ring a representation of the the molecule and the molecule is linked with the other molecule by beta 1 4 glycosidic bond in this case so as you can see the second molecule in this case is the galactose so let me again show you all the groups you have at the sixth position ch2oh and then you have at the fifth, fourth position oh h on the third one h oh h and then second one h oh this is the first position I was talking about. And then you have the second position over there. You have OH and H here. Third position, you again have uh, H and OH. Fourth position, you have OH and H. And the fifth position, you have CH2OH. And then CH2OHC is the sixth carbon atom in this case. Now, in, in case of second sugar molecule, you have fifth position over there where CH2OH group is basically the sixth one right so the first one is this where you have O attached to it so you can see mm, this is the first position and then that's the second position over there that's the third fourth and fifth so you can clearly see the linkage between one and four carbon atom of these two sugar molecules and what are those sugar molecules you have glucose and you have galactose combination of these two monomeric units after releasing the water molecule when they when they react together can form lactose molecule and the linkage that's important in case of sucrose you have alpha 1 2 glycosidic linkage in case of lactose you have beta 1 4 glycosidic linkage that's the important point in this case uh, another important point is uh, what are the different monomeric units in this case so what is glycosidic bond i just again revise the concept of the glycosidic bond it is the reaction between the carbon atom in this case c1 carbon atom of one sugar and the hydroxyl group of the another carbon atom of the second sugar molecule that is going to form the bond which is c O C bond and that bond is known as 
the covalent glycosidic bond. This is not ionic interaction. This is covalent interaction and this is a very, very strong bond. So this is represented by COC. So this is the structure of lactose molecule. We have discussed what are the monomeric units of the lactose molecule. You have glucose, galactose. What is the linkage? That is 1,4 glycosidic beta, 1,4 glycosidic linkage. And in general, what do you understand by glycosidic linkage? We have also discussed that is the interaction between the C1 carbon atom of uh, one sugar and the hydroxyl group of another sugar. So that will cause the formation of COC group, which is glycosidic linkage in this case. So you have two important uh, disaccharides here that we already discussed. You have sucrose and lactose. And I want you to understand the difference between these two molecules, what are the monomeric units, and how they are combined together. So in, in my next videos, I'll, I'll bring more, uh, more uh, topics, like we'll try to cover polysaccharides, we'll try to cover glycogen, uh, starch molecules, cellulose molecule, what, what are the structures and what are the function of all those polysaccharide molecules in, especially in case of our living system because they are the most important energy source as well as structural fibers of our world. So we need to understand these molecules better. So that's the basic biochemistry for you and we have discussed the carbohydrate molecules. So please stay tuned if you if you like the videos and if you like the content of this channel then please show your support but just by subscribing the channel and watching the videos thank you i'll meet you in my next video take care